Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today we are going to SCP-8900-X. Now, I'm quite sure you wonder what the X means. I'll explain right after we get to this. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get right into this. Alright, before we get started, I'm going to explain what X is. X in the X SCP universe is explained SCPs, or they have a common explanation that people have. Anyway, let's get right into this. Note, the following is archival information for reference only. There are currently no containment protocols in place for SCP-8900-X. Item number, SCP-8900. Object class, Keter. So yes, everything relating to it has an in, in, in relation to the Kateran procedures. Special Kateran procedures. SCP-8900 has been designated Keter due to extreme difficulty in containment. Indeed, it does not appear containable at this time. Persons and objects S Affected by SCP-8900 are to be quarantined and destroyed via flash incineration immediately. Persons and objects affected by SCP-8900 are to be quarantined and destroyed via flash incineration immediately. Flames resulting from this process are to be extinguished by a vacuum and in complete darkness to suppress the spread of infection. Under no circumstances are Foundation personnel to come into contact with persons or objects Affected by SCP-8900. Addendum 8900-1 It has been discovered that total darkness is effective in suppressing the spread of symptoms of SCP-8900 living subjects. Agents Harker and Merriam have been detained and are being kept for study. Description SCP-8900 is a complex perceptual phenomenon affecting the visual spectrum which seems to be spread by contact. It can be photographed using certain newly developed techniques, however, the process of autographing the anomaly seems to result in faster speed of its effect, and is considered inadvisable. SCP-8900 is currently uncontained and theoretically uncontainable. It first began to appear in the mid to late 1800s as a side effect of certain photography techniques. Though it restrained only to the photographic place themselves and did not spread. Of note is that the appearance of SCP-8900 manifestations of these photographs seems to redacted element of photographic technology. SCP-8900, as we know it today, seems to have developed in or around 1935. Possibly as a result of the redacted corporation's experiments with integral tripack redacted technology. Addendum 8902 from the desk of 058. Gentlemen, we have failed. SCP 8900's effects have become so widespread as to be commonplace. The natural blue of the sky has been replaced with a gross and unnatural shade, and the green of trees has been equally corrupted. The SCP 8900 has brought ruin down upon this entire visible spectrum, and we have been overrun. Our attempt at creating an opposing infection has also failed, although we were successful at restoring the natural color as agent of our test subjects. The process seems to run into mute, and now a runner has arrived at my office telling me that our little experiment has reached containment. Future agents may have to deal with it as an SCP object in its own right. We are left with only one option, gentlemen, evacuating the, the Foundation's final failsafe method. The Inui Protocol. By the time this message it reaches those of you who, who clear to receive it, Foundation Resources on a global scale will have released vast amounts of compound Inui 5, our most subtle amnestics worldwide. Men and women who do not deserve the horror wrecked upon them will pause, confused, and resume their business, confident that this is the way it has always been, never knowing what they have lost. All the photographs not affected by SCP 8900's taint will know the truth. I regret this, gentlemen. I regret it deeply. It must be done. 058. 
So I ran into this in a short. So what SCP-8500 is, um, uh, is actually the colorization of a humans. Well, the world actually. Apparently, in the SCP universe, the entire world was in black and white until things started to come into color. Apparently, it was around 1935 when things started to come into color, or that we know of, of today. Obviously, we both know, we all know that's fiction, but you know, it's a fun idea. Anyway, if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!